Hello comrades and welcome back to the Dennis show. Um, we have started last time setting up our little construction village and um, as I said I wanted to flatten the area so flattened I did. Looks now something like this. With the layout uh, here will be the city and uh, here will be an industrial area and all the things which will follow will follow. Let's see where we go with this. The, we today try to achieve three objectives. First one is setting up the rest of the construction industry. The next one is um, setting up the first initial town layout, the road layout and um, get the construction building running. Maybe um, make some considerations how the industry sector will be laid out. Um, it's the bigger picture of this all. So, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is um, equipping my. <laughs> construction industry. So we have here uh, the road building facility and the groundwork facility. We have um, flatbeds which will carry our mechanizations and uh, which also will provide us with a little bit of the open, open storage goods like steel or prefab panels. Um, next one will be, which is quite easy, concrete. So we go in here. We need concrete mixers. Mm, yeah. Sorted by a couple. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. 38 wins here again um, because of the capacity and um, I don't want to have these yeah, it's also a modded one so uh, three. no question no comparison we play vanilla here and like I said the rules were um, hardest settings all vanilla no mods and um, nothing out of the ground just turn off turn off this overlay so we have four concrete mixers and next one will be the gravel and asphalt. Asphalt will be uh, dumpers. So let's get our dumpers. Dumper, sort by capacity. So mm, I modded, no. This one or this one is the consideration with all of this. Um, so. The big one is nice, but it costs three times as much as the uh, what, 3 138. Can carry less than two times as much, and it's slow. The biggest thing where he has got a, something ahead of the 3 138 is the the load on the border. So. If you have one big bigger truck in the border, it's uh, it saves space and time in the uh, waiting for the border post. But uh, this problem we will alleviate in a short while. I show you how. So we buy the smaller ones. The smaller ones are also optimized for the uh, gravel speed. So uh, they drove uh, 70 kilometers an hour and our gravel roads go to 60 so he is uh, fine and dandy on my, on the gravel roads. Okie dokie, so we have concrete, we have um, asphalt and gravel, we have some open storage goods. Hmm. Next one will be Cranes. Um, cranes are great because they speed up the construction of your um, of your sites greatly. And um, I will go with the biggest. We can go for road cranes, but road cranes have a speed of, uh, for example, 28, 26, depending on uh, which one you take. 
even worth. Uh, for small constructions, the road trains are really great because they drive for themselves to the construction site and you don't need any uh, other other means of transportation for them. But um, time and uh, these construction speeds is money. So I think these construction speeds is the equal of um, the workers on the construction site. So this one has, for example, um, 20, uh, 20 and something workers on the construction site. Let's compare to the tower crane, which they also need workers to... Um, oh, we have no tower cranes here. So um, let us buy here an open hall. To transport the tower cranes, gets what? SKD. Um, tower cranes need to be purchased on the border because they are not uh, <laughs> they are Im immovable. Tower crane, here we are. So mm. we have two tower cranes, um, and I buy the biggest one because it has. A speed over 60 so it's one tower crane is three times as fast as a um, road crane and um, if we combine this with a minimal amount of workers on the construction site they are fast they are quite fast so I think it's worth it so one two three they will stick here in the border and wait for a pickup um, the pickup needs to be done I think I think we need a road depot for this one. Let's get here. Depots. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, trusted depot for free. A bit somewhat, a little bit nice. Okay. Um, let's get a open hole for this one. SKD, yeah. Um, so, I basically uh, run for the SKDs because they are no brainer vehicles. They can transport anything, they are fast enough for the gravel roads, they have not the biggest engine, quite big, but not the biggest one. Um, so, yeah. Don't get yourself into trouble uh, going smaller if you want general purpose things and. Uh, we are at the general purpose stage. We need our vehicles for everything to do everything and have fun. Okay. So, what is our state? We have concrete, we have dumpers, we have cranes. Next thing would be uh, have people. So, people, we start with buses. Um, actually, I wait for a smaller bus type, which is not available at this time we only have the this one and um, in a year or so <laughs> in previous game I witnessed this this uh, BF1000 I think it was called will come out who has uh, the same capacity but uh, nearly half of the engine power and engine power equals to fuel and uh, fuel consumption we want to minimize so I will do the following I will buy bigger bus buses than I need to here and um, scale down the buses later on if the BF1000 comes online. So um, <laughs> we go the other way around and uh, go from the smallest capacity. Usually I would go for the smallest capacity and have always some people on the construction site. Combined with the train, it is quite nice because you don't rely on foreign workers, the train, uh, the tower crane pay train a tower crane pays for themselves um, replacing workers or working power mm. but we go the other way around we go for the biggest buses because I want to reuse my buses later on for um, my industrial sector um, so industrial buses it will be it will be these these ones um, again Skoda I call them Skoda I think they are Skoda um, biggest buses uh, currently available. Uh, we have one Zeal here, it's a smaller one. It's also not so bad because it has um, one third less engine power. So engine power translates to fuel power would be also a consideration. It's not a bad deal. Uh, Price-wise, the Skoda wins.
and um, speed wise a little bit but uh, no, speed is speed is okay yeah but uh, capacity is capacity so uh, scorder for the win so we will have our okay we will have our tower crates here our people here is this one needed hmm let's see okay next one on the list let's set up our gravel setup like i said um, i have built uh, i have bought this one here and because he will help with the uh, gravel labor mm, <laughs> the problem is really uh, this border post and uh, i don't know if i have massively shot myself in the foot <laughs> starting with this border post because it's additional challenge where i really don't need additional challenges the, the current setup is challenging enough but we will see how far we go we have um, to remind you alternative border posts uh, here where the big debate will be how we cross this body of water and um, the next one which is also planned and uh, will be used anyway is this one here the western border post because um, the rule of not taking loans is still in in place so uh, <laughs> we will see how far we come and how far it goes mm. one of us will be uh, I think we'll, uh, we'll have uh, something, <laughs> something to think about. Either you, uh, how I did it, or either me, how I don't did it, um, starting without loans. So, yeah, back to the plot. Um, we need um, we need to have less less traffic here at the border post, which is teensy tiny and. Uh, a little bit crazy so let us get uh, aggregate load aggregate storage for free mm. I don't like these storages as much um, especially the open storages they are crap because they only have one uh, holding spot they are quite small and uh, they are quite slow to load and unload but um, for our job here, I think this one is mandatory because uh, the border post does not allow to have more traffic than needed. So uh, we try to reduce the traffic by introducing this one. So let's get it. Um, get a road here. Here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The road tool is a little bit funky. I don't know. Uh, since since some updates, uh, it behaves strange. Yeah. So no, no, this one. Um, we want to start our city here in this vicinity. So we let's go here. This one will be um, one outer line for our city somehow angular to this one or parallel mm. let's take this one here so we have some space for waiting let's take this one here yes so it's crucial that this operation is quite effective so we put the distribution office for the gravel here oh this will be fun can we pull out another road here? I don't think so. Okay. No problem. Uh, power distribution office. So why do I do this? Basically to uh, minimize the travel time for our friend here, which 
He can only go 30 miles an hour, uh, 30 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Freaking. Uh, and um, he should not travel so far uh, to don't waste fuel. So um, his job will be to keep this one filled. The uh, smaller dumpers, the T138s, will go here and refuel, refill here. So the border post is a little bit less strained under the load. Your job is to load and unload. Keep it. It's um, 180 tons. I always keep them so they. If if this gets uh, lower, I want to have a full load of uh, of the vehicle. So let's say. 20% will be 10% is 18 tons, 20% is 36 tons, so I can keep it up to 80 80% full. So if this one, we are here at the uh, customs house here, uh, load gravel, unload gravel <laughs> uh, for safety reasons. Um, so I want to keep this one 80% full. So, like I said, 10% is um, 18 tons. 20% is uh, 36 tons, which is always a full uh, full load if he starts to... How fast is this thing, anyway? Yeah, oh, not so slow. Hmm. But <laughs> I see problems. <laughs> what I've done to myself, I don't know. Okay. So... The... Open hall is filling up. Yeah. Yeah! Steal my money. Filthy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. First traffic situation without starting anything. Nice. Yeah. So let this toodle along. They know what to do. Watching grass grow is a little bit boring, I think. So. Yeah. Nice. Okay, city layout. Um, industrial, uh, the city will be here, like I said many times before. Um, and the industry will be here. Here's the sewage uh, output, very important nowadays. And um, the industrial needs to be around 700 meters. I want the heating plant away from the city and uh, near the heating plant the rest of the industrial complex will will be done. The, the housing uh, will be here and the uh, rest of the city will face to the industrial plant, industrial complex um, to keep our citizens as healthy as possible because Healthy citizens are multiplying citizens. Multiplying citizens is what we need because no money. We need to grow our own citizenship and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> Actually, um, it really become it will it will be interesting. Let's let's keep it at that. Okay, so um, let's make. A a line out of our city how we want to plan I will go with this flats um, these are these are I think if you play the maximum efficiency game these are the flats to go because they uh, save a lot of people and uh, store a lot of people uh, are quite space efficient and are quite cheap if you compare them to other flats uh, regarding to the cost per living person they are very, very cheap and nearly unbeatable so we go with them um, the outer limit of the city will be uh, let's say here and the constraining factor of the city the city will be built for 3000 uh, citizens uh, around 2000 workers which means we need 10 of these flats and um, because we are in uh, absolutely low money mode, we need to be mindful how we uh, use the space for the city. So it will be a maximized city. 
like the map, we also built an ugly city. Uh, <laughs> don't get your hope for uh, nice cities. Yeah, they're still consolidating what they do. Um, so, ugly, but uh, maybe you appreciate the engineering, which will go around this shortly. So, um, a water substation. Water substation is the lowest range uh, we have uh, regarding to service buildings. So it's lower range than heating and it's lower range than uh, electricity. And this will be our guiding, guiding uh, factor in like laying out our city. So it's um, if something is in water range and sewage range, it's golden and we will have a compact city and uh, the walking range will also be golden because the constraining of the water range is the most one which it's the slowest, uh, slowest common factor, so to say. Um, water will go here, I think. Or do we create a water system here? Mm -hmm. No. Uh, water treatment uh, should happen here because uh, we want to save on uh, piping and uh, they also need drinking water so uh, the water treatment will come will get here and uh, fresh water will come from somewhere here or from the border fresh water the pumping stations don't like other buildings in the near vicinity and i want to have a pumping station which pumps out the purest water we can get because if we don't pump out good water, the chemical demand <laughs> purifying this water will rise and uh, no money, basically. So, let's go to work. Uh, plump in this one here. So, this is the definition of the city center. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, the same, because water and sewage have the same reach, they go together like a horse and a carriage. Um, next one, which is in the city center. So crucial is how you build a city center. Um, the, the houses are the mo <laughs> easiest thing to plump in. I built my city centers. Like I said, this city will be for um, 2,000 people. And the constraining factor is the, not the shop, the small shopping center. Because we can, we have to, choice of the biggest wait a minute so small shopping center yeah actually we have two choices go for the biggest bigger shopping center which uh, can fit up to three times this population or go with a smaller one you go with a smaller one because this, this city is built for uh, 3000 people which uh, goes a long way in this playthrough and this is what we need to achieve the goals we want to have. So uh, build up the crime and justice system, build up the university, feed the industry. 2,000 workers, is, uh, we can feed a lot of industry with 2,000 workers, so it's fine. And um, if we want to go bigger, the plumbing system gets more complicated and more complicated plumbing needs to uh, more costs for ourselves and we are in the cost saving mode. So here we go. Um, shopping center needs to be reached by all the residentials. So we go here. Have the shopping center also um, quite near to the border or pointing to the border. So uh, we can get our food and other people goods. Yeah. Okay. Next one, uh, for the shopping center, we need a storage. And I want to have uh, the smallest storage possible, uh, which is the meat storage. It's uh, cheaper and smaller than the um, warehouse. Than the warehouse. And um, 
you have the choice. Either you build a big as big as warehouse here, or you build a meat center, or you go with a modded one. There's a modded meat storage which uh, which looks like this, but uh, takes all the goods. Uh, we come back to the how I feed the shopping center most efficiently with goods um, in my case, but uh, meat is one thing which is very constraining in this way. It's not very parallel. But yeah, whatever. Life's hard. Um, so, meat is. Yep. Uh, no, it's bugging me too hard. <laughs> ah. Because the choice is, uh, do you go... Depending on the perspective, it looks like 90 degrees or it does not look like... <laughs> doesn't look like 90 degrees. I think it's... Uh, 90 degrees... No, it's... <laughs> Bear with me. Measure once, cut three times, I think. So it's the okay. We have we have a point situation here. Another big uh, fine and nice hobby is to delete points. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We can go here. Nice. So the gods of the right angle are uh, no, pleased. Yeah. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's go on building our city. Amenities. Um, there's uh, alcohol. Yeah. Provide your people with alcohol. In the good old times, uh, they didn't need alcohol. Now they do. Um, no alcohol, no happy citizens, and we need happy citizens. Do we go with, uh, do we connect the footpath or not? I think not. Um, okay. So uh, a bar is needed. We play with hardest, hardest citizens to respond, so no alcohol and com comrades will be unhappy. Next one is the cinema, because culture is great, comrade. Um, don't want to waste space here on the less polluted side. Let's go on this side. Give them a road access. Yeah. Next one is um, sports. Sports, uh, <laughs> also a standard building, which I think everybody uses, is the uh, swimming pool, indoor pool. Um, simply uh, it become the standard set of buildings um, nothing spectacular here uh, we will go boring as heck maybe don't block off too hard uh, roads to go outside the city um, or in, in city roads so we want to use this whole area for something else later on mm. And give you road access here. Yeah, but I'm unboxing myself in now. Can also go here. Yeah, maybe we go here. Um, closer to the residentials. Um, make them happy. Okay. So, we have all the amenities, um, happy citizens. The next thing which uh, always needs to be in the center is the school. So, we go here, we go with uh, university school. Because 
school needs to be reachable for every citizen. Let's make it here, turn it around. Let's plunk it in here. So there will be a road here. Gods of the right angle needs to be pleased. Okie dokie. Like I said, this this uh, little town is planned for uh, 2,000 workers, so we need 10 of these flats. They will be laid out horribly efficient and uh, totally unsightly. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, like I said, this, this one is not for uh, nice looks. Okay. We have the city center here. Uh, good location for the housing would be here because everything is reachable here. So let's put one aside here. Maximum distance, road access, yes. Okay. Let's start here. So, one ugliness will begin. begin. Two, three. And because we are uh, in the guiding range of our uh, water system, I also know that uh, we will we can walk everywhere in the city. So this is a constraint, but also a nice one to um, save you some planning work because um, you start to centralize everything around this one, and then you're golden. Totally uninspired Soviet uh, construction. East German construction. I will take full credit for this. <laughs> um, five. Six. Seven. Eight. So, uh, 8 times 190 people is uh, not enough. I want to have 10. Where do we put our last blocks of ugliness? No. Yeah. Make it so. So, give me the right angle to this one. Yes, thank you. Is it the right angle? Perspective is sometimes, yeah, bitch. Um, like it so. Not to start to be being uh, here somehow visually attractive. <laughs> ah, yeah, we are in full hen house mode here, so <laughs> you know. Um, space is also an uh, economic decision in this playthrough, so um, it all results into uh, efficiency and uh, money and so on and so forth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. So, we have our 10 flats, we have our basic amenities, uh, we have to regrow some grass. Thank you. So, what comes next in the planning stage? Mm. Kindergartens are missing. Uh, water and sewage is missing. So we only have the starting point. Oh yeah, let's let's make let's plant the water, and it's quite easy. Um, 
So we take the water treatment, uh, the small one. That's not a water treatment, Dennis. Um, water treatment is basically... Where are you hiding? So we... What was the water treatment? No. I thought we had the water loading and unloading thingy. Okay. Water treatment. Uh, again, uh, go into the guiding <laughs> guiding light of our <laughs> of our sewage and water system um, to know what is uh, near to our our city and. Uh, Constraining the layout and uh, being happy that everything will work, hopefully. Okay. Fresh water will come from the bottom, which is nice. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay. This one goes here. Water pipes. Three water pipes. Uh, <laughs> choices. Uh, choices. Interesting sometimes. Um, because we will have 3,000 people, 2,000 workers, um, I came up by testing with a formula that you need 10 cubic meters of water by 4,000 people. Plus a little bit for the industry, but not so much. So we don't will go north of 30 cubic meters, maybe 40 at top. And this is how we can uh, dimension our water system uh, because we also are in uh, money saving mode. Uh, we take smaller pipes. You can go with the biggest pipes, and no problem. So we need a trusty pump. Uh, my recommendation is uh, either you always pump your water between two stations or you will be in pain. So pump it is. This pump is nice because it has three outlets which are also quite often used um, there are passive water switches but uh, if you want to omit pain don't use them so like i said uh, 40 cubic meters it will be so we can take the medium medium uh, piping it will be enough for our needs I start with the piping because uh, you need you need uh, water, and you can go with a silly approach. It would be uh, get water from the border and uh, have it shipped in, which uh, saves you some time, uh, some money in the short term. Because I think they need less water if they don't have water pressure. But in the long term, you get into a lot of problems. <laughs> because <laughs> uh, trucks border and uh, also the biggest border is not enough to uh, comfortably manage everything which is fine constraints are fine you know um, use our little brains to get around these constraints um, keeps us occupied especially in this game going on with water mm, so I give my people at the start uh, access to water because like I said, we need it anyway. And uh, so if we can't omit the investment in the water system, we can build it right away. 95% water pureness is uh, great. I always try to uh, use this purest water. So um, I use the least amount of chemicals to uh, purify the water. And uh, have the least amount of uh, stations you can afford here in the vicinity so the water um, does not degrade, the water quality does not degrade because of some stupid uh, infrastructure. Oh my freaking god, do you have a power access? I don't have power access. I don't have power access. Oh god. Oh god. This. 
I think we're done. <laughs> um, we really are. Here's the power. It's freaking miles away. Let's see if this, this this problem is solvable or if it's game over, because uh, <laughs> somehow expected to have a freaking power line here, and um, yeah, like power. Maybe we can can take Western power, which is it would be a little bit uh, simpler to get to. But I I rather not. <laughs> I don't want to have western power because I plan to run down my western uh, dollar account and oi and we need additional infrastructure which costs additional money which is not in the planning like I said I'm uh, fairly relaxed about the start uh, even if the money situation is super tight because uh, I have a rough outline in my head how this should go and um, these extra costs are uh, not not accounted for so let's let's take a look what we need for the freaking power station network and like it Do we go for a switch or not yeah let's go for a switch Go for switch because um, maybe later on we will switch our power source to something uh, more reasonable than this uh, crazy access. <laughs> so shit. I'm really a little bit pissed because ah, you always, <laughs> you know, um, you're always missing something in this game. This is, uh, this is a Soviet experience uh, we all, I think, made. Um, so what does it cost? One point and tons of steel. Two point seven tons of steel plus some other things. Uh, let's make it five tons of steel, which is not so bad. It's only five tons of steel times four hundred, I think, for the steel. And we have the steel purchase. I want to have a search function here also. Ah, um, steel. 300, yeah, 400 uh, rubles per, per ton of steel. So it's um, four times. Uh, it's 20. 2000 rubles. Ah. Ah. This one is okay. What is the wattage we need? I think we are still in uh, in absolute poverty mode, so um, we go risky. Not so risky. <laughs> 
I like this one, so we will take this one. Okay, maximum cheese mode activated, so um, we will have dangling wires. This one will go, how far will you go? This is the maximum. Yeah. Oh no, this, uh, I didn't want to do this. This one here. Yep. will go. Um, Westerners, here we come. <laughs> Another fun thing we will have. Don't like it. Okay, so Okay, what will this contraption cost us? 23 tons of steel. Okay. Um, activating cheese mode. Um, we will prepare our toolbar to uh, tool us out of this misery. First one I use is the delete me the high voltage one on one. Get me a footpath on two. And give me the high voltage I'm debating with myself if I uh, don't use this smaller line because 13 megawatts are quite good, but I don't need so much. Ah, whatever. Um, okay. So, because I have prepared my tool time, toolbar. Uh, Shortcuts it is. One, two, three. Delete your freaking lines and uh, block them with a footpath so they <laughs> will not reappear. So we have this one and uh, yeah, don't drive under this one. And uh, this is not nice. Okay. 
That's a lot nice. Oh. Why I use uh, this footpath and not uh, for free footpaths is because if I'm in the footpath menu, I can uh, simply cancel them all and uh, away they are. So, that's why. Don't you like to connect here? Now you like it. <laughs> now you like it because you're blocked. Going on with contraption one, two, three. So, 23 tons it was before, what is it now? Mm. Am I still... Let's cancel the... this one. Thank you. And go on... I hope I haven't cancelled <laughs> high voltage rate. Which also happened, uh, happened before. Mm. So, 23 tons. Now it's uh, 12 tons, so I have the price for for my unexpected cost of uh, power delivery. Yeah. Um, so let's round it up. We are at um, 20, 20 tons additional cost of uh, of steel. This is uh, comes to uh, 10,000 rubles. Uh, not so bad. But also not great. It was a cost I really, really rather avoided. Okay. Oh, back to the plot. We were. Um, I just finished. Uh, I will finish the water, which is nearly done. And uh, after that, can we go here? Yep. After that, we will uh, stop the episode because we are nearly at one hour, and it's enough. It's <laughs> good time to make a break. So again, um, she's the way to victory. Going to my hot bar, uh, I have. Pre prepared uh, the hot bar with the same system for the uh, lower voltage thingy. So delete with one, build with two, replace, <laughs> replace with three. <laughs> ah. Yes. Maybe so. Maybe not. Okay. You want it, have it. No problem. Um, Stay focused. If someone is interested, uh, he will see the counter going down for the cost of this uh, wiring things.
Uh, I think it's not avoidable. Let's check it out. Because we need to go through a corner. Yep. Okay. Cute. So, lock this in. Lock them out. Okay. First connection, first power. Um, next thing is uh, to finish the uh, fresh water supply. Would be a small pump this time. I usually never, never, never use the small pumps, but uh, <laughs> we are even more in survival mode now. Um, so I have a small pump. I don't know. Maybe next to the power station. So it's maybe not in the way. Have the uh, medium pipes because I talked about uh, our water demand will be around 50 cubic meters uh, will be enough from my calculations. Um, and hope the small water pump does its jobs because uh, we don't trust these small ones. Okay. So this this piping cost us uh, 20 ton 12 tons of steel, which comes to. Five five thousand ruble. I only calculate the steel because the most uh, the other costs are small and um, have a rough estimation. So it's five tons, five thousand tons of five thousand, five thousand uh, ruble, uh, which is the cost of one small water truck. So um, it really does not pay out to go cheap on the water supply and uh, let let the water truck run around. Uh, filling up yeah okay so we have uh, fresh water done drinking water mm. we have the basic amenities done we have the basic layout of the city done there are one or two buildings missing it's like a hospital and a fire station um, the industry will come in planning stage our gravel is uh, filling up Oh, it's full. Yeah. So, um, how long we were not on pause? Second May. Ah, it's okay. It's not so bad. So, um, this one is full. It's ready to use for our dumpers. So, our dumpers, you will want to have uh, everything from here, but uh, gravel from here. Okay, so our dumpers will feed from here and uh, he will take care that this one is full as best as he can. Hoping that the gravel situation uh, eases up the pressure on our border because uh, pressure it will be. <laughs> yes, so exciting times lay upon us. Next episode we will go on with the city layout, which is nearly finished. Um, we will start the industrial layout and um, start the construction, which will start with the roads. I tried, if I lay out the city here, I try to have uh, longer pieces of road, uninterrupted road, so they can be built quite fast. Hopefully, uh, maybe you can't hear the word, but efficient. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Um, I think here will come also a road to have some two-way system. Uh, have alternative roads because the road building will block some other things. Yeah. Okay. So, next episode, uh, finishing town and starting the planning on the industrial and heating sector. Yeah. I think it's good. So, bye-bye, and uh, see you next time. Ciao.